Hey there, Mrs. Fisher. Uh, we're gonna miss you and all the crimes you find yourself in the middle of. Yeah. Hey, remember that time you thought your necklace was stolen, but you were wearing it the whole time? <laughs> and that was a lot of work that ended up being completely inconsequential. Mrs. Fisher, I know that you are literally going through the roof, but I will miss you. And though we've never been in the same room together, I know you're going to do amazing things in space. Goldie Fisher, best of luck to you on your new endeavors and your journey into space. I just want to say that whenever I think of you, I think of a saying, you're a goldie, but a goodie. What's that? <laughs> An oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> Classic quiz or mess up. <laughs> Happy duty, Mrs. Duder. To me, you are like a pet mother since I pretended to be Tuni so many times. Anyways, as they say in Scandinavian yearbooks, you rock and never change. Hags or whatever. Good luck in space, Mrs. Fisher. Thank you for giving our son a job. Remember to pack lots of saltines and emodium in your luggage. I had an old college associate who had an uncle that went to space. If you see him, tell him Bill's dad says you owe him five bucks. Bye bye. Bye. Hi, Mrs. Fisher. I'm gonna miss all the times I accidentally got melted crayon on your blouse. Or old apple juice. I hope they have lots of tasty space snacks for when I come visit you. I'm a growing boy, but also a growing alien from outer space. Did you forget? It was a detail mentioned in the first episode I ever showed up in. Bye! Goldie fish. We are sure gonna miss you around these here parts. I know you're not backwoods, but if you were, I know you'd be able to put her on a truck. Happy trails. Mrs. Fisher, if you were to ask me whether or not you should go to space, I would say don't go. The weather forecast there is really looking bad for the next light year or so. And I guess I love you and look at you as like a mother figure. And maybe that 